Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and today we're taking a look at the Remington Model 8 and Model 81. We have a book on these, but I figured I'd start off with the rifle. Uh, this rifle is a, a semi-auto commercial hunting rifle designed by John Browning, the one and only, uh, just basically right at the turn of the century. Uh, 1906 this was introduced. Uh, and really impressive that Browning developed a fully functional, safe and effective and reliable semi-auto rifle in a, a full-size rifle cartridge that early. These never really saw serious military use, uh, but they were popular among hunters to some extent uh, until well after World War II. In fact, you'll still find them wandering around uh, many a forest in the United States. Now, we recently picked this up, and one of the things that was a huge help to me when I was shopping for it was a copy of the collect grade book, the Remington 8 and 81, Autoloading Rifles by John Henwood. <clears throat> um, as with all collector grade books, you, you pretty much know going in that this is going to be a pretty high quality work. This one is no exception. Uh, this has pretty much every bit of information you could really ever think of wanting on the 8 and the 81. I actually had the chance to speak to the author at a gun show a little while back. Um, was very impressed. He was a very, very helpful, very knowledgeable person. Um, and he signed the book for me, which is cool. But anyway, let's take a look inside and I'll show you what we have put together here. All right, so looking inside, one thing I just want to start off with here, there is a really cool picture right at the beginning, uh, previously unpublished, apparently, of John Browning himself out hunting with uh, a Model 8 in 35 Remington. So that, that's just cool. Now there's obviously a history of the rifle. Um, we have some patent drawings, some early prototype information here. Then we're going to go into... Um, obviously, this being collector grade, there is all sorts of detailed information on the changes in production over the years. The little details that changed, because this rifle was in production for several decades. And there were some minor things that, that changed from year to year. So, there are complete production codes and tables, so you can tell exactly when any particular rifle would have been made, based on its serial number. Um, there's a little bit of information on some of the military and also the police versions. Uh, they did make an extended magazine for the for police use. So there wasn't much uh, military use of these rifles, but what there was is pretty well covered here. Um, towards the back, once we get through details and information on the, the Model 8 and the Model 81 themselves, there's also information on contemporary self-loading rifles, including Winchester's self-loaders, uh, and then some a little bit more obscure stuff. So a lot of this is right up our alley with forgotten weapons, of course. Uh, carrying on, there's a complete section on disassembly and care of the Model 8 and the Model 81. There are still a lot of people out there who use these rifles all the time. Information on all the different cartridges that the, the rifle was chambered for. Some accessories. This is actually a stripper clip loaded rifle, uh, despite being a civilian hunting rifle. Uh, so there's information on the clips, which are quite scarce. Uh, I will point out it does is compatible with standard military stripper clips. I've tried that out on mine. Information on scope mounts that were available. Um, there's advertising in here. Really covers everything you'd want to know about the, the Model 8 and the Model 81. All right, so you can see what you're getting there. Um, unfortunately, the other thing about collector grade books is they are kind of on the high end of the scale price-wise. Uh, this retails right about 60 bucks, which seems like a lot for a thin book like it is, but the thing I, the way I would look at this, in fact, the way I did look at it, was if you have any interest in buying even just really one Remington Model 8 or Model 81, 60 bucks is a small fraction of what the rifle is going to cost you. And having this book and the information here will go a huge way towards letting, making sure that you get the most desirable, uh, exactly what kind of rifle you're looking for. Uh, and of course, if you're going to collect 8s and 81s, this is, there's really no, no excuse for not having a copy of this book. Uh, you know, 60 bucks ahead of time for, for the reference material will save you a ton of money down the road. So you can buy this currently uh, through Collector Grade or through Amazon. Uh, we'll have a link to Amazon below. And uh, very specific book, but very useful for the people who need it. Thanks for watching, guys.